Texas this weekend, as well as my opening statement, counselor to the president, Kellyanne Conway. Good evening, Kellyanne. Good evening. What about what is happening? I'm going to go right to Syria now, since that is the news of the hour. And right, is the president confident that what he has done, along with uh, the UK and France, sufficient to send the message that he wanted to send? Indeed. In fact, this president led an effort, along with France and the UK, to join together and issue precise, overwhelming, and effective strikes on Syria. This is uh, after they concluded that, in fact, Syria had used chlorine and sarin gas against its own innocent people and that Assad is culpable, Janine. And this is also about Russia. Russia has had four years to get these chemical warfare out of Syria and has failed to do that. I tried to embarrass the United States and the UK and France today at the UN Security Council by having a condemnation vote only mustered three votes, yeah. Russia, China, and Bolivia. Uh, that failed. And uh, the president took action here that was not impulsive and was very decisive. Uh, they, he was very deliberative over a series of days, conferring with his security team and making sure that, that they had first confirmed what they thought had happened had happened. Um, Assad doesn't seem interested in international cooperation and monitoring. And as the president and our commander in chief said last night in his remarks to the world, that you know a country by the company it keeps. And the US was standing with the UK and France in striking Syria, which is being propped up by Russia and Iran. Mm -hmm. And the world should take notice. You know what's interesting, Kellyanne, as I recall all the times that Barack Obama had talked about his international coalition and all the people who were with the United States and we were at the helm. and. None of this happened. And now that this has happened for the second time, do you think that this will stop? I mean, was this an operation that would put more of this chemical weaponry to rest or destroy most of it? Well, I spoke with Ambassador Nikki Haley today, and she confirmed for me that the strikes did go right to a major hub of the, of the chemical weapons. Um, Certainly others say that Syria is still capable of using them, but it's important that the international community see what happened here and what the response was. Mm -hmm. uh, and really getting Assad to understand that this country and our allies, at the very least in the UK and France, will not sit idly by and look the other way and pretend that there's no interest uh, for this country and other uh, countries when he's gassing his own people. Okay. But there's confidence that they struck at the hub uh, and took out major, major sources. Um, there's mm -hmm. no telling what Assad do next. I think it passed was prologue here. He did it exactly, almost exactly a year ago to the day. Right. And this president took action then also. He's been leading on this issue for over a year now and mm -hmm. will continue to do so. I, right. I really want to commend I, everybody to his public remarks too, Janine. They're really worth a read for everyone from last night. All right. I want to, I want to ask you now the question about Comey and the book that's coming out on Tuesday. Um, the, 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 the whole conversation concept of the book, and I've read parts of it, it, it seems like a petty, like a couple of girls in kindergarten, where he's like, he did this, and he did that, and he did this, and there's no big reveal in this book, is there? Oh, there's no big reveal at all. And if anything binds a very politically charged, sometimes overly partisan Washington, D.C., on both sides of the aisle, it's the agreement that Jim Comey doesn't have much credibility. I mean, former governor of Vermont and presidential aspirant himself, Howard Dean, had said of Comey mm -hmm. that he, quote, destroyed the credibility of the FBI forever yeah. and went on the side of Putin. Uh, Tim Kaine, who ran on her ticket, also, said, also called him out. Uh, Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, all these Democrats. Uh, Harry Reid said, of course he should resign. Well. And he was the leader in, in the Senate at the time. So there are very few things that bind Washington together. The other <laughs> thing about the book is not only does it not reveal anything, but it seems like Jim Comey wants his legacy to be this book and the money that will flow from in these interviews. But his legacy will be somebody who lied under, under, under oath, oath. To, to Congress. He actually destroyed Huma Abedin, too. Remember, he, he lied to Congress. He said there were hundreds of thousands of emails 
on that laptop computer, it turned out there were two or three that were classified. Yeah, and the but you FBI know what, Kellyanne? I had wish. Had to his testimony almost immediately. I wish that we had someone who could make him accountable for lies before Congress. But I want to thank you, Kellyanne, for being with us tonight. Thank you, Janine. All right. And joining me now with more on the airstrikes in Syria, retired General Anthony Tata, author of the upcoming.